no idea how this is gonna look, but I'm heading to Blick. I'm trying the Apple ProRes log format for any of y'all camera nerds out there. Apparently your videos can look way better on your iPhone if you do it this way, but it takes up a ton of storage. So we'll see how that works. Anyway, heading to Blick, getting some paint. It's gonna be chic, it's gonna be cute. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I love that. I really have no idea. It could be disaster or it could be amazing, but knowing me, I'll make it amazing because I'm dedicated, dedicated to the craft. So off to Blick, bye. Okay, I'm off to Blick. It's supposed to start flurrying in the next like 10 minutes. So we'll see if that happens. I don't know how crazy I look with this balaclava, but yeah. This is how, how you do it. I ride my bike pretty much everywhere. It's still not winter yet, so I don't know if, um, I'll be able to survive the winter on a bike, but we'll see. I got my paint. It was about twice as much money as I was expecting to pay, but oh well, I already did it. So I'm ready, ready to get to muraling. There's mood fabrics. So exciting. As I was about to start painting my mural, I had a trip booked for LA, so I'm here. I feel like it's like going to school, like I'm just getting education and inspiration for what's to come with my future designs of my house and whoever else's house I end up designing or space, hotel, who knows. But yeah, there's this new shop called Seventh House Gallery, or just Seventh House, on Melrose in LA. It's like this little couple of blocks in between Highland and La Brea where there's all these really beautiful galleries and whatnot. And they just opened, at least as far as I know. I wasn't aware of them when I lived here before, so I'm gonna check them out. I definitely feel like they have their own take on things. It wasn't quite so predictable as many of these types of places can be. So definitely got a bit of inspiration. Um, very cute. I'm gonna go look up all those furniture pieces and see what it's all about. Cause some of it almost seemed new. Like I wonder if they create their own like stuff in house and then some of it was vintage. 
actually not sure. So, I got some research to do. Feels so incredible here. Going back to New York winter in two days, but you know, it's worth it for the for the New York vibes and for the switch up of of life. I wanted to buy a tomato candle. They I actually have they gave me a air freshener last night at the bakery for the event, and they smell so fucking sweet. Thank you so much. Yes. Big chill. <laughs> oh, you look so nice. It really compliments your eyes. Thank you. Yeah, because I was. I literally. stayed here before. Um, I have had lunch here one time and the hotel is just so gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you all around and we'll see what else I get into. But yeah, for now I wanna show you all the room. Like obsessed with this light fixture. Uh, I already got the room a little dirty so I'm not gonna show too much, but here, let me go in normal mode. And this is super cute. Love these actually a lot. And the texture on the wall and that little sconce and tile work. Okay, it's embarrassing, but I'm gonna show you <laughs> my view. I will say this is a terrible view, but I did pay for the cheapest room possible. So, um, I can't complain, I guess. At least it's not just facing this brick wall. At least, at least I have some sky, you know? I feel like in New York, you could just have a brick wall out your window, so. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go get breakfast. Uh, I got a $75 credit, so let's go use that. <laughs>